across the board about 10 hours ago, we had our women lined up in Lake Monona, the beginning of Ironman Wisconsin, part of the VinFast Ironman US series. And we had a tight group to start. Again, we had uh, Chloe in there. We had Mel McQuaid was in there. Jess Smith was in there. Rachel was in there. And uh, Katie Morales was in that front group as well. But it looked like it was Rachel for the majority of that swim that was pushing the pace. And uh, she was rewarded at the end of this swim, uh, able to get out of the water first and have the fastest swim split of the day, uh, leading out uh, Katie Morales and Jessica Smith. Jessica in second, I believe, Katie in third. Coming out of transition, it was Jess and Chloe, pretty neck and neck. But pretty quickly, Chloe took control, Bob, and she, she went to the front of the bike course. She really did. She wasn't intimidated by the field. She wasn't intimidated by the conditions, wasn't intimidated by the course, did not hesitate to go to the front, and she was, uh, uh, she was strong all day long. Yeah, what impressed me was uh, Jessica Smith bridging up uh, solo uh, to Chloe as Katie Morales uh, worked with uh, Rachel and Mel McQuaid for a period of time uh, to try to bring this gap back and bring it back they did. And that group of two leaders uh, became four. Mel McQuaid didn't quite bridge all the way up to the front, but uh, Jess Smith and Chloe Lane coming across the finish line together going up the helix and into transition, it was one and two, neck and neck, Chloe Lane and Jessica Smith. Well, and then getting out, Chloe asserted herself right away and decided I need to get a gap. And I and she put it on right away. And, and what you documented is it wasn't like Brent who kept adding minutes. It was yep. 10 seconds here, 15 seconds there until the point where it got to seven, eight minutes. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Rachel head on as long as she could on that podium position. Great performance from her coming across uh, the finish line, most likely in fourth place. We'll get an update on that. Uh, but passed by Mel McQuaid there at the end. Um, and uh, we had Chloe Lane at the front of this course having a consistently uh, great run as she crosses past with Mel McQuaid. But again, as you said, it just kept getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. As the day went, Jess Smith doing her best to keep it tight, to capitalize, have the opportunity to capitalize if Chloe Lane showed any weakness, uh, but no weaknesses uh, were shown uh, by our champion here today. And, and Mel McQuaid continued to push through and get that, uh, get that podium, continue to chug away and cross that finish line. But it was Chloe Lane that was able now to call herself an Ironman champion Last one at Wisconsin to be called a champion by Mike Riley. Pretty special day for her. Jess Smith, super stoked to get second place. And then none other but Melanie McQuaid crossing the finish line in third. And you might be happy to hear that Rachel Mensch put herself out there today, finished in fourth place, was able to hold off Lenny Ramsey. So that five-minute didn't affect her in the end. Great to see that and really, really impressed uh, with the mental fortitude of Rachel Mensch being able to push through that adversity and, and, and pretty tough. And the women's race was tighter for the, was about a half hour between the yeah. top five where 